All right, welcome back for another behind the scenes video. This one, we're covering uh, Transformers so far. Um, yeah, so basically I just wanted to do a picture featuring all the Transformers I have so far. I don't have Impactor in there. I just couldn't fit him in there and like the fact that he's a bad guy for half of War for Cybertron, the first part. Uh, I didn't think it was that important to throw them in there. Although the color dynamics would have been nice to have a purple and yellow figure in there, I would have really stuck out amongst all the red and, and everything else, and red and white. Um, but anyways, yeah, just a cool picture with everybody in there, with their guns posed, uh, ready to get down. Um, and then I put these rocks in front uh, from a lower camera angle. It hides all their feet and just kind of gives it a the bottom of the picture of framing. And then the top I used... Uh, just some mechanical uh, towers and then um, I flipped my, my stairwell upside down but uh, you know it works but I am like I, th I think I've said in other videos I'm really missing some some uh, Transformers dios uh, I don't really have a whole lot so uh, I'm gonna have to make some I think I'm gonna have to get some styrofoam out sometime this winter and and go to town making some towers and and some Cybertronian looking, uh, you know, walls and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's just a lazy Sunday uh, morning. I'm here with my daughter. She has, <laughs> while I'm doing my stuff, she's using a bunch of my spare stuff um, to do her own pictures. So can you say hi? But uh, yeah, like father, uh, like yeah, like father, like daughter. So that's kind of it's kind of a fun, fun Sunday. So, but uh, yeah, that's it. I just want to show off the you know all my my uh, Autobots so far, and I think we'll do uh, some some Decepticon pictures next. Maybe just kind of featuring uh, some of the ones that I got uh, on that team. Uh, so let's go to that. All right, so our next picture is um, just kind of an ode to, you know, Megatron. And then his, his big three, I guess you could call them. You know, you got Shockwave and Soundwave and um, uh, Starscream there. And those were always kind of his, you know, main henchmen and stuff. I do have more uh, Decepticons. Uh, I got the cassette tapes. I got a couple of, the, um, what do they call them, Micro Masters or whatever. And then... Uh, one of the, uh, I got a scrap face too, but uh, I just wanted to, you know, throw something out just to, to more so honor, um, you know, Megatron's, you know, big three or whatever. So let's just shot, with, just a shot with them. This will get cropped down, uh, basically the waist up on Megatron, and then uh, kind of at the diagonal that you're looking at it with that background and back. So. Yeah, it's a fun picture with them. I finally got uh, Soundwave, so it's it's fantastic to have all four of these. I didn't have even one of these growing up. You know, Soundwave was such a huge deal in Megatron, obviously, and and uh, Starscream, but Shockwave. But I just I never had any of their so rare, and I think I missed the first wave by a year or two, really. But uh, yeah, still, it's it's amazing having them. It's it's great having a collection with that's so well articulated and so well molded uh with all four of these guys in it so pretty crazy if you ask me that we <laughs> we're like in a golden era of of transformers collecting right now it's kind of insane so uh anyways let's go on to another one all right so this last shot uh, i'm gonna cut this video short just because i got a lot going on today and i don't know when i'm gonna get back in here to do more uh pictures this week that's even going to happen or even next week but uh basically i'm just going to do one little ode to to soundwave he was the last one uh for me uh to collect so you know and if i had to pick out of all all of the four you know big decepticons i think he would be the one that i would want the most just because he's such a cool character like i had ravage which is in his chest right now growing up and then i had one of the uh good guy robots i had a couple i had like four of the cassette tapes but i never had blaster i never had uh and i never had uh you know sound wave uh so the, the fact that i finally got one and i can actually keep a tape in his chest 
Now, and he's just a great figure too. You know, the top has one of those like little windows so you can take a laser pointer or even just a normal light and light up his eyes. Uh, he's just a fantastic, you know, figure. I haven't even transformed him yet. I got to get around to doing that, but uh, he's just a great, great figure. Uh, and the fact that I have him now uh, in a Ravage and a laser beak, I need to get uh, a couple more of Rat Bat and a couple more of the other. Uh, you know tapes or whatever but uh it's just it's great having them so i want to do a quick shot with him and laser beak and i threw megatron in the background just to have him in the background uh but this will be a nice close-up uh tightly cropped uh picture uh with these three but uh you know it, it, he's just a he's just a fantastic character so uh, and, and figure but uh, anyways uh, that'll do it for this video hit the like and subscribe button check out the description of the video for the link to my uh, Instagram page my other toys uh, and we'll see you guys at the next video bye now